I can say one of the biggest things I've learned last year, uh, or maybe the beginning of this year, was you know I bought I bought the second RV park, which is a smaller transaction, and then I bought twelve other properties yeah. last year, so thirteen properties total. And uh, you know you have a budget, and generally a lot of these, what I'll do is I'll work with a private investor. They'll fund the purchase price and they'll fund the remodel. We'll go in there and remodel it out, rehab it, and then we'll refinance it, rent it out, and then move on to the next one. Yeah. Well, as you know, budgets don't always line up. Mm-hmm. Sometimes timelines get pushed out. Hey, I was supposed to have foundation work done last week, but you know, there's an ice storm that moved in. Yeah. It is what, and then this week it's going to be raining. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm two weeks past my schedule, and that's money, you yeah. know? I'm losing money because I'm like, oh, I can't do any. I, and I can't have them come in there and do the drywall because if we move the foundation, we're going to crack the drywall, you know? Yeah. Um, so things like that happen. One of the things is, you know, my strategy has always been buy and hold, buy and hold, buy and hold, buy and hold, you know? And I've learned from talking, firsthand experience, but also talking with a couple of, a couple of investor friends that I really should have sprinkled in a couple of flip deals in between that, mm. you know? I should have flipped this one, maybe every third, fourth property, flipped, flipped something to make money because, okay, Maybe a couple of these buy and holds went over budget. Here's five thousand dollars here, here's ten thousand dollars here. Maybe this one was fifteen thousand dollars over. Or maybe it got drawn out longer. You know, one of the big things is like, hey, if it gets if this if this project gets extended, then it extends the one next to it, you know, the one after it. Mm-hmm. So then all of a sudden you you look at your books and you're like, I'm paying fifteen hundred dollars a month just to have this. We're not even working on we're not even working on it yet. That's the next one in line. You know, but these holding mm-hmm. costs add up quick. Yeah, you know when you got five properties under construction, you're looking at what eight to ten thousand dollars in holding costs a month. Like those are real numbers. Yeah, and in the middle of that, you're spending bukus of money buying cabinets and appliances and drywall and lumber, and, and you're paying workers. And um, so I think kind of learning from that, if I was to do that over again uh, last year, I probably would have flipped a couple of those. Mm-hmm. Say, okay, let's cash out on this one. Let's cash out on this one. <clears throat> And let's use that to fund some of those budget overruns that we're going to have. 